two point charges Q1 40 microcoulomb and Q2 minus 16 microcoulomb are placed along x axis at 0 centimeter and 24 centimeter from the origin respectively. Calculate the net force on a third charge Q3 which is minus 2.5 microcoulomb placed at x is equal to 36 centimeters from the origin. Okay, question is based on superposition of charges. We have three charges given. Uh, they are kept on x axis. All the charges are kept on x axis. So, at x is equal to 0, suppose this is the origin x is equal to 0, there the charge we kept is 40 microcoulomb. The second charge minus 16 coulomb is kept at 24 centimeter as per the question. So, the second charge I am going to keep at 24 centimeter from the origin. This is a negative charge and the distance is 24 centimeters from the origin. This distance is 24 centimeters and the third charge Q3 minus 2.5 micro coulomb is kept at 36 centimeters from the origin. Okay? 36 centimeter from the origin. Be careful that charge is minus 2.5 micro coulomb distance is given from the origin. From the origin only 24 centimeter is gone like for to, to reach the point uh, of position of minus 16 micro coulomb. So, the remaining distance from that minus 16 micro coulomb to 2.5 micro coulomb is only 12 centimeters. So, that total distance from the origin to the negative charge minus 2.5 micro coulomb charge is 36 centimeters. Okay. So, we have to find out total force acting on the third charge Q3. This is your Q3. We know there will be two forces acting on Q3. One is due to the positive, I mean the negative charge minus 16 micro coulomb which is a repulsive force F2. Okay. Repulsive force because of the green negative charge it will be repulsive force. And the blue positive charge will exert an attractive force on the same charge which I can mark exactly in the opposite direction, right. This is the force acting on Q3 due to Q1. Let me take it as F1, okay. So, there are two forces acting on Q3. You are asked to find what would be the resultant force acting on it. We know if you have two forces acting in mutually opposite direction, we have to find out the resultant force acting on it as difference between the magnitudes of the individual forces. Magnitude of the weaker force should be subtracted from the magnitude of the stronger force. Therefore, we can say resultant force F acting on F3 is going to be equal to F2 minus F1. Magnitudes of F1 and F2 we have to substitute here and take the difference you will get the final answer. Okay, So, F2 we can say k q1 q2 by r square that is our equation. So, k into first charge is 16 micro coulomb. So, 16 into 10 raised to minus 6 into converted to coulomb. Then the other charge q3 is 2.5 into 10 raised to minus 6. Right. The whole divided by distance between the two that is 12 centimeters. 12 into 10 raised to minus 2 converted to meters the whole square minus. The other force f1 force exerted by the blue charge on Q3 which is K into uh, 40 into 10 raised to minus 6 that is the first charge. Then the third charge is going to be 2.5 into 10 raised to minus 6. The whole divided by distance is going to be total distance between the two is 36 centimeters 36 into 10 raised to minus 2 the whole square. Now taking the common terms out what will you get K into 2.5 is common for both into 10 raised to minus 12 the whole divided by 10 raised to minus 4 is also common for both the terms into in the first term now we have 16 only in the denominator divided by 12 into 12 minus 40 divided by 36 into 36. Now, in this term, we can cancel 16 uh, and uh, 12 by 4 by 3 and here we can cancel this by 10 and uh, 9. So, the term we can simplify further resultant force F is equal to uh, K into 2.5 into 10 raised to. See, we can take that uh, 
minus 4 to uh, nominator, so 10 raised to plus 4 and we get 10 raised to minus 8 altogether into in the bracket now remaining 4 divided by 12 into 3 becomes 36 minus 10 divided by 9 into 36 ok. So, in the bracket that term we can simplify first. So, k into 2.5 into 10 raised to minus 8 into we can take 9 into 36 as the LCM. We will simplify this 4 into 9 going to be 36 minus 10 right. So, 36 minus 10 is going to be 26. So, we can say 2.5 k. So, now I will substitute k also 9 into uh, 10 raised to 9 into 2.5 into 10 raised to minus 8 into 36 minus 10 is going to be 26 divided by 9 into 36 ok. So, here we can cancel that 9 right from either side. So, this 9 gets cancelled here and 10 raised to 9 and 10 raised to minus 8 is going to be just 10 raised to 1. So, in this term we can uh, 25 right 2.5 into 10 becomes 25 into 26 divided by 36 and this force can be approximately 18 Newton. Thank you.